This reaction is called a neutralization reaction. We have an acid, this hydrofluoric acid, plus a base, calcium hydroxide. And that gives us calcium fluoride, a salt, plus water. Let's add the atoms up on both sides of the equation. We have one hydrogen here, and then we have this hydrogen here. But the two, that's multiplied by this whole thing here. So two times one, that's two. And then we have our one here. So one plus the two hydrogens. We have three hydrogens. For the fluorine, we only have one of those. Calcium one oxygen, remember this two, applies to the whole OH here. Two times the one, we have two oxygens. And we already counted this hydrogen. On the product side, we have two hydrogens, two fluorines, one calcium, and one oxygen. Let's leave the hydrogens till last and then fix the fluorine. See how that works. So we have two fluorines here and one here. So why don't we put a two in front of the HF and we'll need to update the hydrogens because this two goes to everything here. This coefficient applies to the whole HF compound. So we have the one times the two, two hydrogens here, plus the two times the one hydrogen, two. Now we have four hydrogens and for the fluorines, we have one times two. That means we have two fluorines. So our hydrogens are kind of messed up now, but that's easy to fix because we can just put a two in front of the H2O, two times the two. That'll give us four. Now our hydrogens are good, but remember the two goes to everything, so the one times the two. Now we have two oxygens. But that's great because we had two oxygens over here. You can see that everything is the same on each side of the equation. And that means we've balanced this neutralization reaction. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for HF plus CaOH2 yields CaF2 plus H2O. Thanks for watching.